All right, here with Danielle Kang. Danielle, you just told me as we were walking up, you thought the leaderboard wasn't updated, but the lead is at five under. How are you feeling hopping off of your third round? Uh, I'm happy I made that last uh, five footer for par. Um, there's just a lot of, been hitting a lot of great putts this week. So I'm making a lot of putts. I think the furthest putt I made this entire week was a 12 footer. So it's actually uh, quite frustrating not being able to um, optimize and capitalize on the greens that I normally can. So just trying to figure them out, played 54 holes on it. So hopefully the next 18 holes, I can get some golf balls in the hole. <laughs> You've said before, and I think over the last two weeks that you really are, you look forward to a challenge and that Lynx has been somewhat of a challenge that you have been working on. Mm -hmm. What have you seen out of the course over the last three days? Well, one of the things that I'm actually really proud of is uh, how the golf ball reacts on this golf course. It kind of bounces back and forth and um, knowing the releases, uh, hitting different types of shots into certain pins. Um, depending on the number, it could be, I could have three of the same number for three holes and I'm hitting three different clubs. So those are the things that I worked on and I'm, I could definitely see that I'm hitting the ball well. I, I struck it well the last two days as well, um, but I just need to, to get that putter going. <laughs> Does it mean working uh, after your round today or you're heading to the putting green to just see what you can put together? Uh, yeah, a little bit. The other day I putted for two hours after my round, ended up going home at like 9.30. But it's just, um, I think it's mostly getting used to the pace of the greens. They're a bit slower um, than what I'm used to. Uh, it's Lynx Golf, so you, know, you can't really have them roll that fast, which I completely I am four. I just am not a very, my putting style isn't a very a, much of a hit. And so every time I hit it, I kind of flinch. That's just not the type of putting that I do. So I kind of change my stance around, kind of change the way I putt just so that I don't create a bad habit. But um, I, I think I got a pretty good feel for it. I just need them to drop. Um, beauty, of a, beauty of this golf course, I'm starting to realize they don't break as much as I think. So I just have to be aggressive on the line and kind of trust that line and just hit it. <laughs> Last week, you were certainly a come from behind. You looked at Ollie, I think it was uh, seven, seven or six holes away and said, we're five shots down. And that was kind of the mentality the rest of the last day at Marathon. Do you think that's going to be the mentality tomorrow as well? Uh, yeah, right now, what's the leader at? Five? Five. Some three back? Yeah, I... Not a lot of people are going low out here. Um, the golf course is playing tough. Um, condition isn't as forgivable as you want them to be. But, yeah, I mean, I was five back yesterday, and I had 36 holes left. So I think that I'm kind of a mindset. Last week I had – I was five shots back with six holes to go. This week I was five shots back with 36. So um, hopefully I can capitalize on it and um, play the best I can and see what happens. But there's a lot of people kind of bunched up there. So – 